Essentially what happened before the Big Bang you have to be careful with the language so if you define the Big Bang really carefully as the time when the universe was very hot and very dense and as I said you can't argue with that because we can see it because we can look out into the sky our best theory of how the universe got into that state is that there was a time before that and it's called inflation imagine the entire universe collapsing in reverse galaxies folding inward stars imploding time itself rewinding like film running backward. Now picture world-renowned physicist Brian Cox stepping into the scene with a revelation. What if the Big Bang wasn't the beginning at all, but merely the aftershock of something even more terrifying? Tonight, we're diving into the forbidden question that haunts cosmology. What existed before creation itself? Stay with me because the truth may change everything you thought you knew about the universe. Beneath the velvet darkness of space, humanity has always stared upward searching for origins. For centuries, we told ourselves stories. The Big Bang, a singular flash of light that birthed time, matter, and every galaxy shimmering above us. But now, science tells that story with a precision once unimaginable. Through instruments so advanced, they make medieval stargazers seem like children with candles. Chief among them, the James Webb Space Telescope, a floating cathedral of gold mirrors orbiting in silence peering farther back than any eye before. Imagine its panels unfolding in the blackness, each hexagon gleaming like a luxury showcase, piece engineered not for vanity but for unlocking secrets 10, 12, even 13 billion years old. Brian Cox reminds us that Webb is not merely a machine. It's a time traveler. Every image it captures is not a snapshot of now, but a memory, a relic of light emitted billions of years ago. The galaxy's web reveals are ancient, distorted whispers like finding fingerprints on glass that no one remembers touching. Yet, in those faint smudges lies the question no telescope has fully answered. Was the Big Bang truly the starting gun? Or was it just the most recent lap in a much longer cosmic race? Think of the cosmos as an immaculate showroom, galaxies arranged like polished models under starlight, each one a symbol of power and beauty. But beneath that glamour, a disquired grows. Physicists like Cox suggest that what we see may be the afterglow of something deeper, stranger, perhaps more unsettling than the elegant image suggests. And just as an elite vehicle hides engineering far more complex than its sleek design reveals, the universe may conceal origins far more chaotic than our polished theories dare admit. This is where science meets suspense and where mystery begins. Every great mystery begins with a flaw, a tiny fracture in the story we thought was unshakable. For decades, scientists treated the Big Bang as the ultimate beginning, neat, clean, absolute. But then came the whispers, subtle irregularities etched into the oldest light in existence, the cosmic microwave background. To the untrained eye, it looks like a hazy map of colors. To cosmologists, it's the universe's baby picture. Yet within that image, something felt wrong like spotting a crack in the windshield of creation itself. The James Webb Telescope pushed this suspicion even further. Instead of confirming the flawless narrative, Webb returned snapshots of galaxies that simply shouldn't exist. Galaxies too massive, too structured, too soon after the supposed birth of everything. Imagine opening the hood of a pristine new car, only to find the engine already weathered, worn, and strangely out of place. These cosmic anomalies are the universe's worn engine parts, evidence of a history older than the beginning we thought we knew. And it wasn't just the galaxies. Entropy, the law of disorder, whispered another contradiction. If the Big Bang was the first roll of the dice, why do patterns appear that hint at a game already in progress? Why does the universe feel less like a blank canvas and more like a painting painted over layer upon mysterious layer? Brian Cox and his peers look at these findings and see something profound. Perhaps the Big Bang wasn't the ignition, but the aftermath. Like walking into a grand ballroom filled with echoes and realizing the music started long before you arrived. Webb's gold mirrors gleaming against the void. Don't just show us what was. They dare us to ask what came before and whether those faint signals are breadcrumbs left by a forgotten terrifying chapter of existence. When the universe speaks in riddles, it takes voices of authority to interpret the whispers. Enter Brian Cox, a physicist who has mastered the rare art of turning raw equations into living, breathing wonder, 
with his signature calm yet electrifying delivery. He dares us to look at the Big Bang not as a beginning, but as a doorway. He tells us the Big Bang might not be the first spark of existence, but rather the aftershock of an even deeper reality, one we barely comprehend. His words hang in the air like a conductor's final note, demanding we pause and listen. But Cox is not alone on this stage. Stephen Hawking, even from the echoes of his legacy, offered tantalizing ideas. Perhaps time itself curved in such a way that beginnings are illusions, not absolutes. Then there's Roger Penrose, the noble winning mind who envisions a universe that recycles endlessly. One Big Bang collapsing into the seed of another. To him, the universe is not a single vehicle speeding toward oblivion, but a luxury model on an infinite test track. Each lap a new cosmos, each reset both familiar and strange. Other theorists step forward, too, each with polished certainty, but wildly different interpretations. Some argue that quantum fluctuations birth time from nothingness, like a magician pulling silk from empty air. Others propose multiverses, an endless gallery of cosmic engines, each tuned differently, each unveiling its own brand of physics. Together, these voices form a symphony of possibility. Cox, Penrose, Hawking, and countless others, each playing their part like reviewers dissecting the rarest, most complex machine ever built, the universe itself. And as they debate, we, the audience, are left in suspense, whose vision of reality will stand. Or are they all describing fragments of a truth too vast for any one mind to hold? The moment scientists begin to tug at the edges of the Big Bang, the universe unravels into theories that ignite both wonder and unease. One of the most dramatic is the cyclic universe. The idea that our cosmos is not a one-time event, but part of an eternal rhythm of creation and destruction. Imagine the universe as a heartbeat, each pulse a Big Bang, each collapse a cosmic exhale. It's awe-inspiring to think we're simply riding one wave in an endless ocean. Yet, it's also terrifying. If everything resets, does that mean nothing truly lasts? Then there's the multiverse, a concept that feels ripped from science fiction, yet stands firmly in the corridors of physics. Picture an infinite showroom of universes, each with its own laws of physics, its own timelines, perhaps even its own versions of you and me. If the Big Bang was not the first, maybe it was merely one engine revving among countless others, each roaring into existence for reasons still hidden. The scale is intoxicating but also disorienting because if we're one of many, what does that say about our significance? Another contender is the quantum fluctuation theory where reality itself springs from nothing. But this nothing isn't emptiness. It's a frothing sea of potential, invisible yet restless, bubbling with energy. Out of this quantum foam, time and space may erupt spontaneously. To young scientists and curious minds, this is like discovering that beneath the polished body of a luxury car lies an engine built from raw chaos. Each theory contrasts sharply with the others. Endless cycles versus infinite multiverses versus explosive randomness. Yet all share one haunting thread. The possibility that the Big Bang was not the origin, but a clue. And if these clues are real, they force us to confront something unsettling. The universe may be far stranger and far less stable than we dare to believe. Just when these theories begin to feel like abstract puzzles, the cosmic twist arrives. And it is here that Brian Cox's words take on their most haunting resonance. What if the evidence doesn't just suggest an elegant prelude to the Big Bang, but something darker, more violent, more terrifying? Imagine for a moment that before our universe, there was another cosmos, vast and thriving, that met an end. So catastrophic, its death throes ignited our beginning. The Big Bang in this framing wasn't the first spark of creation, but the echo of annihilation. The James Webb Telescope has already startled astronomers with galaxies too mature, too organized for such a young universe. If these galaxies shouldn't exist, what if they are not mistakes in our models, but fingerprints from a world before ours, a shadow civilization stamped into the very structure of spacium? That possibility electrifies and unsettles at once. Because if remnants of the previous universe bleed into ours, then time is not a straight arrow, but a looping cycle of destruction and rebirth. And here's where it gets truly unnerving. 
Penrose's cyclic model predicts that black holes from the previous universe might survive the transition. Think about that. Ancient engines of gravity, older than our cosmos, haunting the fabric of reality. What if the monsters we see devouring stars today are not children of our Big Bang, but ancient survivors from a world erased? Suddenly, black holes are not just terrifying objects of physics. They are messengers carrying secrets from a forgotten age. Cox doesn't deal in cheap drama. His concern is scientific, yet the implications drip with cinematic suspense. If universes collapse and recycle, then ours is destined for the same fate. An eventual unraveling where every star dies, every atom stretches into nothing, and all that remains is the seed for the next reality. This isn't just a mystery. It's a destiny written in cosmic ink. The twist is not simply that something existed before the Big Bang. It's that what existed might still be with us, hidden in the black silence of space. And if that's true, then the universe we cherish may not be unique nor permanent, but a fleeting chapter in an eternal terrifying cycle. If the Big Bang was not the first note in the cosmic symphony, then the stakes reach far beyond scientific curiosity. They strike at the core of human meaning. Because if our universe is just one cycle in an endless rhythm, then permanence is an illusion. Civilizations, galaxies, even the very laws of physics may all be destined to vanish only to be replaced by new ones in an eternal reset. That realization is both humbling and unnerving for humanity. This opens two paths of thought. One is awe that we are part of a grand infinite chain of universes linked together like pearls in a necklace that stretches beyond imagination. The other is fear that everything we build, Everything we dream may ultimately dissolve into the silence of collapse. And yet there's aspiration too. If we can understand what came before, perhaps we can prepare for what comes after. Science is not just telling us where we are. It's daring us to confront where we fit in the vast, unending story of existence. So where does this leave us? With a universe that may not be a lone miracle, but a single frame in an infinite reel of creation and collapse. Brian Cox reminds us that the true terror isn't the darkness of space. It's the possibility that we're standing inside a story so vast our minds can barely sketch its outline. Perhaps before our Big Bang, countless others rose and fell. Perhaps remnants of those lost worlds still drift around us, disguised as black holes or hidden within the faint hum of ancient light. And perhaps in time, our own universe will collapse, giving birth to another. But here's the beauty. Mystery is not a curse. It's an invitation. Each unanswered question is a door left ajar urging us to peer inside. The James Webb Telescope, quantum physics, and the voices of visionaries like Cox are not just tools of science. They are keys unlocking a gallery of infinite possibilities. What lies beyond the Big Bang is still unknown. But in that unknown rests the greatest adventure of all. So I'll leave you with this. If the cosmos is a cycle, then we are both fleeting and eternal. Which theory do you believe? Drop your thoughts below. And if you want to keep chasing the biggest mysteries of the universe, subscribe now because this journey is only just beginning.